Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. With the nationwide answers protest taking a violent dimension, there's currently palpable tension in the Niger Delta, where the reformed Niger Delta Avengers are threatened to resume attacks on the country's oil assets if the demands of the protesting youths were not met. Their reaction, some youth leaders in the region have appealed to the renegade militant group to give peace a chance in the collective interests of the region and the country at large. Correspondent Chika Abadouzie has the report. In the wake of violent protests against police brutality, several lives and properties have been lost across the country. Recently, armed youths in the conflict-prone Niger Delta region had hijacked the hitherto peaceful protests to unleash mayhem on innocent citizens and security agents. In River State, hoodlums masquerading as NSARS protesters had set a police station ablaze at Afam where some police officers were reportedly killed. The pervasive state of insecurity had prompted Governor Nyeso Muike to impose a 24-hour curfew on Oyibo, parts of Obiakpo and Portakot City local government areas. The ambience was no less violent in Edo State, where protesters attacked correctional centers in Benin and freed inmates on Monday, October 19, 2020. To stem the tide of violence, Governor Godwin Obaseki had declared a 24-hour curfew in the state. In neighboring Delta State, some thugs set fire to government offices and property in Asaba, while others embarked on a jailbreak at the Wari Correctional Center. Reacting to perceived threat on their lives, some police officers recently staged a protest at Ugeli. The police are protesting. Enough is enough. In trying to quell public disturbances, Governor Ifan Yokoa had imposed a 48-hour curfew across Delta State. In spite of efforts by the governors to restore law and order in their respective states, tension remains palpable in the region. This follows a recent threat by the reformed Niger Delta Avengers to resume attacks on oil and gas installations if the demands of the protesting youths were not addressed by the federal government. For me, I don't think that that's the way to go. Um, if you look at the tempo of what is happening in the country, there are issues bordering on the well-being of the Niger Delta. Look at the chaos that is going on in the country. I think that as Niger Delta people, we need to take a position on it. It will be difficult for the Nigerian economy to, to bounce back in maybe 10 years if anything happens in the Niger Delta. At the end of the day, it is always better that we judge or negotiate, have a timeline over this issue. The call on the reformed Niger Delta Avengers and other armed groups to give peace a chance in the Niger Delta is hinged on the premise that the region plays host to critical national assets that should be protected to avert a collateral damage on Nigeria's economy. Inside the Niger Delta, 